Welcome to Jerry's Gene Scene. I was asked the question, is chicken in the same clade as a dinosaur? But before I try and answer, NASA scientist Ken Williford, a deputy project leader of NASA Perseverance, described some of the initial observations made as dark rocks, light rocks, and holy rocks. It was as much of a classification as they could make from an initial picture sent back from Mars. Meanwhile, at Astrobiology, in a tweet teased NASA that they might consider another parachute design the next time they're looking at astrobiology on Mars. They sent this cladogram of all light as the sample. But what is a cladogram and how do we interpret them? Humans like to classify things. We don't even think about it. It can be called folk taxonomy and we have no difficulties grouping things like bugs, shrubs, ducks, and dinosaurs. A classification scheme that went back at least to the time of the Greeks consisted of three main groups, animal, vegetable, and mineral. These groupings used by Carolus Linnaeus when he came up with his classification method in 1758, and they persisted well into the 19th century and the time of Darwin. Even today, children growing up play 20 questions, sometimes called animal, vegetable, or mineral. But scientists have become more sophisticated in their classification schemes. They now group organisms based on a common ancestor. We call this method cladistics. Clades are nested like matryoshka dolls. A cladogram is a branching sequence that shows relationships of organisms based on a common ancestor. There is more than one way to draw these. I've illustrated a couple of the common ways here. If we consider organisms A, B, and C, we can see that they form a clade because they share the common ancestor N, shown in red. We can see that A and B form a clade because they share the common ancestor M, shown in blue. We can also see how one clade is nested in another. Charles Darwin noted that the tree of life should be considered the coral of life, base of branches dead so that passages cannot be seen. He seems to have anticipated the modern method of cladistics. There are subtle differences between cladograms and phylogenetic trees, but for most of us, looking at the big picture, we only care that there is a significant step from the animal, vegetable, and mineral cladistics we knew as children. Is the chicken in the same clade as a dinosaur? Experts may argue. How big is that nest? There is no one approach to classification adequate for all purposes. Scientists make operational definitions. And then, the more specialized some scientists are, the more closely they will define the classification system they are using. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more Jerry's Gene Scene, hit the subscribe button and check out my Genetics Explainer playlist for genetics information. I'm Jerry Ward. I'm at genomealberta.ca.